Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Recently I've been doing a lot of knife making videos. So today I wanted to talk about my history with knife making and some of the reasons why I've started doing knife making videos. Now you may know that my channel is primarily about PVC bows, how to make them, shooting them, and different aspects of PVC archery and archery in general. But before I made PVC bows, I used to make laminated bows, self bows, and board bows. And actually, The Backyard Boyer is the name of my first book, which is about how to make board bows. And before I used to before I made bows, I made knives. So going all the way back, when I was a little kid, I used to make pretend bows and pretend knives and swords and I was into playing around like that and as I got older I never really grew out of that. I was always interested in knives but not so much as a weapon or even as a tool. I was really into design and the lines and the appearance and how they how they worked, how they functioned as an extension of the of the body. And I think a lot of that came from the fact that my dad was a jeweler. He was a designer and he also he also had his own manufacturing company. And so I got to see him do a lot of jewelry design and at home he had a little workshop and sometimes I would sneak in there and I would play around with the different tools. And I remember when I was 12 years old my dad caught me messing around with his tools. I was trying to make a knife. I think I was trying to turn uh, what I deemed to be an old file into a knife and he asked me what I was doing and rather than tell him that I was making knives I told him that I wanted to get into woodworking and so we went down to woodcraft and we got some stuff and my first project was a letter opener because secretly I really wanted to make knives but I didn't feel like that was something that a 12 year old kid should be doing so I got into woodworking from there I started turning wooden bowls, I started making pens, I made pens for a while and you know that was a really cool experience being able to make and sell pens. I started selling pens when I was about 14 and I was just making pens and you know from that point now that I had tools to use I started messing around and making knives. I started off small. I'd take old old kitchen knives and I would cut them down, put new handles on them. Uh, I modified old butcher knives and just different little things like that. And then once I was about 16 years old, I started making knives out of files and bed frames and anything that had decent carbon steel. And so this knife is special to me. This is one of my early knives. It's not my first knife. It's not one of my first. I'd already been doing knives for a little while. But I've had this knife for about eight years now. The only reason why I have it is because I use it almost every day. This is just a simple little friction folder that I made. The blade is bed frame. It's hardened and tempered. I did the hardening and tempering. The handle is the handle is African tulip wood. And so this is one of my favorite little knives and one of my earliest knives. And I started making knives like that, and eventually it started getting to the point where I thought, you know, maybe this is something I want to do. You know, maybe, maybe my dream of becoming a professional knife maker wasn't crazy after all. And so during that time, I started to kind of teach my friends how to make knives, those who were interested. And one of my friends, we did a little summer project and we made two of these. Now he wanted kind of a large knife and so he came up with a rough design and I refined it and then we came up with these. We each made one 
I did all the work on mine, he did all the work on his, but I showed him how to do it, and they both came out looking pretty much the same. We also made sheaths to go with them. And this was the first time I bought steel bar stock for the purpose of making knives. Before that, I had just been using, you know, files or other knives or bed frame steel and things like that. So this knife is O1 tool steel. It's got a stainless steel guard and micarta handle scales. Now, a little bit after that, I thought, you know, I really want to do this. I want to make knives. So I stopped making pens and I spent a little bit of money. Well, I spent a lot of money and I bought a bunch of bar stock. I bought 440C stainless steel bar stock and I started playing around with it. Once I felt like my grinds were consistent, I sent them out to be heat treated. When I got knives back from heat treatment, I'd put handles on them, make leather sheaths, and I started selling knives. And during that period I was making and selling knives, I probably made and sold about 70 to 100 knives. You know, if you know me, I'm not really good at keeping track of these things. And the thing is, is because I was selling knives, I don't have any to show you today, but I've got some pictures that I found and they'll be going along with this video. Well, then I hit kind of a snag in the road and I had to move and moving meant I couldn't bring my equipment. Without my equipment, I couldn't make knives. So I basically gave up making knives. But during that time, I had also been I'd been really into archery, I'd been shooting my bow almost every day, and I started getting into making bows. And so it made sense to get into making bows because I didn't need a lot of tools, you know, especially making just simple board bows and self bows. I started making board bows and self bows, and then I ended up trading a bow that I made for another bow. And then I thought, well, I could sell these, so I started selling bows. Next thing I knew, I had the equipment to make laminated bows. And once that happened, you know, I, I realized that I had kind of traded knife making for bow making. And then I came out with my first bow book, and the rest is history. So now I've gotten back into wanting to make knives. So I've been doing the knife videos because it seems like you guys are interested in them. and. For me, it's really kind of like being able to fulfill the dream I've always had. That now I can do the bows, but I can also do knives. And I've always wanted to be a professional knife maker, and that's still my dream. That's still my, my end goal of sorts. So I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, I really appreciate your support. None of this would have been possible without your support. You know, all of you who watch my videos, who like my videos, who share my videos, especially all of you who share how to make bows, how to make things. You know, I, I think it's awesome when I see other people teaching others how to make the PVC bows or how to make bows or how to make anything, really. And, you know, I'm really excited to make more stuff with you guys. I've got a lot of other knife videos lined up. And on that note, here's a little sneak peek. Since you guys have stayed with me till the end of this video, here's a little sneak peek of what I've got planned next. This is a nine inch dagger made from a file. It's got a stacked leather handle and brass fittings. And this is modeled after the uh, several different daggers that I saw from World War II and also you know followed the general guidelines of fighting daggers because I've got a lot of requests for daggers and fighting knives so kind of rolled them all together. So here it is if you guys want to see all the different projects that I've done you know PVC bows and now knives you can check out my channel I've got a lot of different projects and I've also written a bunch of books, so if you want to check those out, I've got links in the description. And just let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And 
and I'll talk to you next time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.